This is Perseus, the latest RTA from Golden Greek, a 22mm Addy that either comes in matte or polished finish. Mine is polished. This is the new avatar of their earlier IIT Reloaded and there are quite a few nice upgrades to it. Hey folks, Korax here. Come join me to take a deeper look at what this Addy is all about. Perseus by Golden Greek. The Perseus comes in a standard GG box. This one contains some aftermarket accessories. Inside you get a user manual. It is written well, printed on high quality paper, but it is just a quick start guide. A spare open draw airflow pin, the extender kit to boost the capacity, a bag of o-rings has two post screws as well, a beefy pack indeed, and the addy. Rock solid construction here. Engraving on the chimney bell and this time serialized as well. Top fill holes, holes not slots. Twist to reveal, stops at the end, right turn for filling, left turn to yank it off. And midway to cover the fill ports. Smooth edges all around. The top cap has some indented design. Helps in grabbing it. Juice control, airflow control. The AFC ring is just a slider, sits on O-rings. Massive airflow slot inside by the way. I like that this time these are holes, not a cyclops slot. Easier to select the type of draw. It also stops at the ends. This is a 22mm diameter addy. Let me check it. Yes, it is. And without the drip tip, it is included in the package by the way. The height is around 41 mm. 
विदाउट द ड्रिप्टिव हाउसिंग थर्टी फोर एम एम इट इज अ शॉर्ट प्रोफाइल आर टी ए नो डाउट एंड हियर इज हाउ इट फेयर अबाउंग सम पॉपुलर आर टी एस एस्पेशली नोट इट इज टू थर्ड द साइज ऑफ इट्स अर्लियर ब्रदर द आई आर टी रिलोडेड एंड नियरली द सेम स्टेचर एज द एन के एफ एल द न्यू के एफ एल लाइट weight wise how does it fare as an empty atty we are looking at roughly 47 and 1/2 grams and here when it is full 50 grams this is now in its extended mode just above 61 grams not bad for a well constructed high end atty the mouthpiece is standard 510 so any of our regular drip tips will sit fine we need a stubby one though long drip tips will look goofy unless you prefer it like that you need to close the juice flow to dislodge the deck assembly there are two locking notches here which slide inside a groove in the base The chamber is double stepped which is supposed to channel the air out better a flavor thingy you see By the way this is the chimney reducer we will come back to that Righty filly lefty removey all right Pretty well made everything here This one is also a solid piece No give These ports are fit for long nose bottles. Aha, if you remove the top cap and fill, this could be a nuisance. And if you overlook to reposition them, juice will build up between the lid and the top cap. So beware. We need both the o-rings here, period. Which also gives a cushioning effect for seating the cap snugly. best is to fill it through the top cap did i mention i like that these are holes and not mere slots the tank lid is screw tightened to the chimney and this is the chamber reducer you can just push it out with any pokey thing a double o-ring piece this is 2 mm opening good for mouth to lung you may use the addy without this piece as well to have an opener draw This is now a 6 mm opening. 4 mm actual air flow. Good for direct lunging. To put it back, just press it in from the top. Note that it goes in only so far. Will not drop out below onto the coil. Brilliant. The glass tank remains press fit cushioned by two o-rings at both ends Remember to put them back if they pop out like this Especially be careful while washing Typically they will remain put once lubed There is an o-ring here at the chimney end as well and a couple of them on the lid between which the glass remained encapsulated a nice chunky piece of glass this is borosilicate pyrex seems heavy gauge too yep 1.4 mm 
18.5 mm long shy of 22 mm outer diameter pretty robust well built and here is how the extender fits in it is exactly same as the top cap just that it has a length to add volume to the tank o-ring here as well to cushion the glass and you just thread it in in lieu of the standard top cap remember this piece is included free in the package too just hand tighten it no need to crank it attach the top cap righty openy remember slightly offset it for closing the fill ports then the drip tip insert the deck assembly then the air setting and you are in business with 4 ml in this mode the height obviously shoots up to around 55 mm not bad i have taller atis with me now let's discuss the deck assembly two post system gold plated airflow pin flat head screws side cuts for sliding the coil legs flat and enclosure to bend the legs or to accommodate any slightly longer snips grooves cut on the wall for holding our rebuilding tool love that enough space here to take in any type of coil aha 7 mm wide the post is 7 mm as well thus a square space here wow raised center airflow channel good for two things one it avoids juice flowing in if there is some chamber flooding and two reduces the space under the coil that's better flavor there positive post here isolated by a pek piece the negative post is milled to the base one whole piece this is massive juice wells on either side these need to be packed with cotton huge feed ports too 3 mm square reach hi vj fully welcome here the airflow pins are replaceable there is already one extra added in the package this is the shorter one which sits under the airway and keeps the central air channel free and fully open at 4 mm best for direct to lung clouds the airflow pins are replaced from the bottom doesn't mess up with your build this is the 1.5 mm pin which comes pre installed 3.7 mm open otherwise air is sucked in through these side slots and gets reduced upwards as per the pin size selected there are a total of 6 pins available 1 mm board 1.2 mm board 1.5 mm included here 2 mm the 4 mm one included here and one without any hole that works as a 0.8 mm bore full tight like a cigarette perfect for newbies now that everything is dismantled let's enlist the parts of the perseus drip tip top cap tank lid extender lid chimney chimney reducer glass tank deck assembly by the way this can be further broken down but in our day to day use we will never need to two airflow pins as included in the package and the a fitting total 11 parts now it's time to take everything for a wash and then we ought to loop all the o-rings as well 
Now let's reassemble them for good measure. First of all, get the tank section ready. Reducer in. Glass mounted. You may use either of the lids, 4ml or 2ml, your choice. Remember to ensure that the washers are in place. Top cap. Then the drip tip. Assemble the airflow pin. Then insert the deck unit. Tip. If you can't rotate the juice flow, it means it is an improper insertion. <laughs> In which case, just rotate it 90 degrees, any direction and things will fall into place correctly. See? The AFC ring is unidirectional by the way. If you notice carefully, one side has a flat head while the other end is sharp. The sharp end goes towards the glass. The flat end will not fit at all. There is a notch here which glides through the open space on the ring and that's your stopper at either ends of the air holes. And thus ends the close up of this video. Now let's set up this bad boy and check how it fares. Using my standard 28 AWG cancel, wrapping a 2.5 mm coil, Then, it is a simple matter of resting the coiling tool here and trapping the legs within these massive post slots. Which by the way, is good for fancy coils as well. But let's come back to our coil of today. All good, now let's test it. Fine, it's a 1.3 ohms coil by the way. After snipping, there might still be some extra length left behind. Tuck them inwards within the post grooves. Using GG Blend as wicking material. I always roll my cotton by the way. Fold it and repeat the rolling. Nice! Time to use it. Keeping the wig tails just enough to touch the base of the juice wells. Snip the fold, snip the other end to size. And you guys know what to do next. The idea is to cover the three juice ports completely and sufficiently. There is no need to flare the ends in my opinion. I like my wicks to look like wicks. Now juice it up.
better to put some drops here as well what say still 1.3 ohms and neat now let's pack things up align the post to the gg wing and you will be fine see before filling remember to close the juice control this is with any top filling at it better yet close the afc as well for good measure now fill it through the top cap and close the top cap adjust the juice control opening based on the viscosity of your e liquid adjust the afc based on your preference and the moment of truth oh yes this is a nice smooth vape i'm running it now in its extended mode and without the chimney reducer and in any case every atty from gg is designed to offer a wholesome satisfying experience this is no different i have run it also with a fused clapton build and another with a dual coil in either of the cases the perseus performs tremendously well very flavorful and the vapor production is perfect for the configuration you set it up with in a simple single coil mode with the chimney reducer in place and the afc fully open the perseus actually vapes pretty similar to the new kefen light it is the same draw partially tight a great restricted lung hitter not warm not hot and not cool either a perfect balance and that is my benchmark at it for vtf but there is one thing i'm finding welcomingly different here this one has a stronger throat hit and thus let me tell you what i like about this id and what i don't as with all gg products the fit and finish of this id is top notch typical of any high end id everything fits into place perfectly well milled great machining and exemplary quality control looks great you will feel nice to have it in your hand and be a proud owner borderline you would like to flaunt it the design and direction i mio took to this id is marvelous hi guys made of 316l stainless steel which is the best grade you can get for medical tooling pyrex glass a pretty thick one at that pek isolator gold plated airflow pin buna nitrile o rings the works everything is high grade here the draw from this addy can be tweaked to any and every type of vaping profile good for mtl good for direct to lung and anything in between the chimney reducer is a fantastic touch here with the availability of multiple board pins this addy can be made as tight as possible straight up cigarette like draw is absolutely possible for the new vapers out there now here is something which is absolutely close to my heart i love addies where the juice flow could be adjustable based on the viscosity of my e liquids furthermore we can always close it down completely when the atty is left unused for a prolonged duration and rest assured that the device will never leak oh yes the perseus is totally leak proof fill it on the go nothing to remove or unscrew here holes in lieu of slots large ones at that this atty is designed for the outdoors type vapor the uber mobile downtown dweller 
I also love the post system. Nice open slots to pass the coil legs. Flat head screws in place of Phillips head or Torx type. I hate them. Guide slots on the deck wall for holding the rebuilding tool. Lifted center pin. Nice deep juice wells. Easy to pack your cotton in. This addy takes just a minute to set up. How cool is that? No tricky turns and twists to access anything. Remember the KFN 4? Just fill it, shut it and forget it. This addy is one of the easiest to operate on a daily basis. Now coming to the deck. Notice how large the deck space is. And yes, every GG addy is like that. Including the last IIT Reloaded. You can bring a railway spring into a GG deck to wave with if you want. <laughs> LOL. Talk about a bag of spare O-rings, will you? This is literally a bag full. You have O-rings for your entire neighborhood here. Joking aside, you also get a pair of post screws, the capacity extender, the direct to lung airflow pin, a free drip tip and a nicely written quick start guide. For the money, I think this is one of the best all-inclusive packages you can get in the vape world. Talking about the money, this side of the pond, outside the EU, you get the Perseus for only 100 euros. That's because the VAT doesn't apply to us. Like I said, for the package that it is, the quality of product that it is, the vape experience that we get out of it, I believe the price of this Atty is just perfect. So how is the vape experience? One word, flavorful. Yes, all GG Addies are flavor chasers, but this one outsmarts them all. And that brings me to where it all started, throat hit. Oh yes, this is by far the strongest among any Addy I have. Not sure why, probably due to all the things I just said about flavor. The Perseus is killing me in throat and front. I am currently running it without the chimney reducer and everything fully open. Yet I have to cut my nick levels to half with this Addy. I use 4-5 mg juices. With this Addy, I think 2 or max 3 would be more than enough. If you are looking to cut down your nicotine, Perseus is the atty to go with. Oh yes, GG has a stock of many aftermarket accessories for the Perseus. Ultem tank, Ultem drip tip, stainless steel tank, bottom airflow pins of various bores, multiple sizes of chimney reducers and there are many more to come. So this could be the only atty that you would need to configure it differently every day. So what's a review without mentioning cons? Well, you guys know me. I only make selective videos. Only for devices which are unique or different. As usual as such, there are no cons with the Perseus. Nothing that hinders its usefulness. But if I have to nitpick, I would have liked two things readdressed here. You see, at 41 mm, the Perseus is very similar in height to the NKFL. But this one holds a meager 2 ml of e-liquid, while the NKFL holds double than that. Yes, we have the extension piece to increase its capacity to 4 ml, but then the height shoots up as well. I personally feel the deck and base assembly could have been tweaked to at least hold 3 ml of e-liquid without the extension. That would have been pretty neat, don't you think so? I know, I know, 2 ml is a TPD thing, but oh well. Secondly, this is a glass tank and I have a thing with glass. Once cracked, you are royally fogged. This is a pet peeve I have with every modder. Why not include a spare acrylic one in the package? Yes, GG has an Ultem one as an aftermarket. I would have loved to see it included in the basic retail box. And that's all I have today folks. Overall, the pros of this Addy far outweigh the two nitpicks that I have. It is a superbly designed product. A 5 star Addy in my book, an outstanding RTA 
which will suit both MTL and D2L vapors. And it is entirely made in the EU, a controlled production by Golden Greek. So like I said earlier, I shall proudly flaunt it. And I totally recommend it. Thanks for watching my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. In parting, as always, remember, vaping is a healthier alternative and we have the right to make that choice.